This video will explain the AG DVX 200's focus transition feature. Now, when you're dealing with a large sensor camcorder, that means you have a very shallow depth of field, a very narrow range of what's in focus and what's out of focus. And if you miss focus by just a little bit, it's going to show. So you really need to be very precise in your focusing. That can make it a little bit challenging to shift from one subject to another, but the camera has a built-in function that ensures that you can exactly and precisely hit the focus marks that you've set. There are a few steps you have to take before you can use this feature, so I'm going to walk you through step by step exactly how to use it. First, go into the menus and go to the user SW menu we have to program the function focus trans onto a user button. If we just press the user button now, it's not gonna work, it says invalid. There are two main reasons why. Number one could be if you don't have the camera in manual focus mode. So if you have the camera set to automatic focus, or if you have the automatic manual switch set to auto, or if you have a remote focus controller plugged in you know, this will be controlling the focus and the camera won't be in true manual focus at that point. So you can't have a remote controller in there and you gotta make sure the camera's in manual focus. If you've done all those things, then the only other reason that it would say invalid is if you don't have your focus positions properly programmed. So let's show you how to program those focus positions. Go into the menus and go to the recording setup menu. Here you'll find a number of menu items associated with focus transition. Most important one we're looking at is the one labeled focus transition. We need to set that, so select that menu item. These three buttons represent the three potential focus positions. The camera can memorize and shift to any of these three positions. We have to program what the position is that we want for each one. So I'm gonna set position one. I press the one button and it brings up the magnified focus assist and now I have to manually focus in and get pinpoint sharp focus on that subject. Once I've set that, you have to click enter and it'll bring you back to this screen where you can then program in the second position and the third position. And now you're ready to execute your focus transitions. First thing you do, press that user button. Remember we assigned focus trans to a user button that invokes the focus transition function. So we press that user button and on the screen, it brings up our three buttons along the bottom. Those are our focus transition positions. So I can focus on position one or to position two or to position three, the camera automatically transitions and the camera will remember these focus positions so long as you don't turn the camera off and you don't zoom the lens. If you zoom the lens, it will erase the focus positions. You're gonna to have to start over. And one last precaution, once you set your focus points, don't move the camera. It seems obvious, but the focus points that you're setting are not on an object, they're on a distance. And if you change the distance, once you've set your points, you change the distance from the camera to the subject, focus won't be right anymore. So set the camera, lock it down in its tripod, and then set your focus positions from there and don't move the camera and don't zoom the lens and your focus positions will be exactly what they should be. You can change the focus transition time so that it goes instantaneously or that it smoothly transitions over a certain number of seconds that you set. You can also tell the camera to move to a certain focus position when you hit the record button. If you have focus transition enabled, wherever the focus ring is, when you hit record, it'll jump to that focus position every time you start recording. Another trick you can do is you don't have to use the LCD screen at all. When you have the focus transition enabled, you can use the user buttons on the side of the camera. So user one will take you to focus transition point one, user two goes to point two, user three goes to point three, and user four exits out of the focus transition function entirely. So that's how you execute a focus transition. Be sure to see the other videos in this series for other hints, tips, and tricks on how to use your DVX 200. Panasonic.